Historically, the waters of Florida Bay start north of Orlando, actually Shingle Creek, and work its way down um, into a large uh, body of water called uh, Oak Lake Okeechobee. And the key to that was the monsoon rains that would come in the summertime would uh, traditionally flood Okeechobee, the flood waters would then send a pulse of fresh water down through the river of grass, um, uh, all the way down through what is, you know, what we know as the Everglades, um, all the way down to Florida Bay. And along its way, um, you know, would, would filter through the, the sawgrass, and um, that was what would provide our, our balance of life down here through the proper uh, mixture of salinity and fresh water. So what's happened to that water is along the way, um, we've decided through development that we don't want the flood. So we've, we've then canaled a lot of the, the area to divert the fresh water out um, to the oceans um, to help you know, basically drain the Everglades for development. Um, we've also added farmland. That farmland has added uh, nutrients to the water as it comes down, um, which um, when you have extra nutrients in the water, uh, provides opportunity for things like algae to bloom. Uh, well, ultimately we would uh, find ourselves in a, in a situation where we wouldn't be able to process the seafood that we're presently processing and offering uh, the uh, home consumer a quality product from the Florida Keys. The Florida Bay is very important to uh, the survival of uh, the commercial fishing industry as well as the health of the fishery in general as uh, the Florida Bay is uh, one just one big uh, estuary where a lot of things grow up and uh, migrate to the ocean or migrate into the Gulf of Mexico and, and uh, uh, where either commercial fishermen can catch them or recreational anglers can go and catch and enjoy an afternoon.